Hey guys, uh, super quick update today. Uh, Strider SNG. Uh, this one's a fatty aluminum scale orange peel colored titanium in 20 CV. Um, so I've been carrying this knife a ton, probably more than any knife I have in my collection right now. I absolutely love this knife. Um, it's, it's not perfect, but for a guy like me, it's pretty fucking close. Um, so I guess we'll talk about that. Uh, nice thick blade, ground super thin behind the edge. I mean, not super duper thin, uh, but it is thinner than, you know, like a PM2 or a military. Um, it's actually more, con like, so the SOCOM is actually ground extremely thin as well. The only difference between the SOCOM and the SNG is the SOCOM uh, thickens up behind the edge as it gets closer to the tip. The SNG stays a lot more consistent, uh, which I like a lot because most of the cutting I do is uh, kind of in the tip region. You know, a lot of draw cuts, stuff like that. Um, what else? I've been using the knife a lot with gloves. Uh, with gloves on, here, let's do it real quick. Um, it actually performs, not, not performs, but... Um, yeah, uh, really great with gloves. Um, now, I realized something about choils uh, that I had not really uh, realized until I started using uh, knives with gloves. Well, knives with gloves on, I should say. Uh, choils, okay, so <laughs> design inconsistency in my opinion. Uh, with this knife. I, I've said it myself, this knife would be way better and way more comfortable with gloves on. That's true. The only discrepancy is this will cut through my glove, unless I have cut resistant gloves on, which, um, man, this knife is so solid, um, which these happen to not be. So, uh, I love that it has just a big choil. Uh, for a long time, I was one of those guys that liked a one-to-one -one edge to handle ratio. Uh, I'm starting to move away from that now. Um, I mean, the military has always been an exception, um, but I mean, this knife really, really, really uh, changed my mind on it. Uh, I, I think I may have kind of talked about that in uh, previous reviews. Um, so for the size of knife, it actually doesn't have that much cutting edge. Uh, tiny, tiny bit. Here. Uh, I mean, maybe three quarters of an inch more than a Spidey K. I um, don't really have any... Yeah, the hinderer... Yeah, military smokes. But yeah, I, I don't really have any good uh, comparisons for that. I Most of my knives are like four inch blades. Um, yeah, but uh, it hasn't been an issue. It really, now that I think about it, I feel kind of dumb for uh, saying that choils don't make any sense um, and that I'd rather have um, more cutting edge. And, place of a choil because in a day hardly ever will I run through and dull an entire edge it, it just doesn't happen um, some people will do it uh, those people might need to get a box cutter I don't think that extra tiny tiny bit of edge what is that an inch of edge is going to make or break your uh, EDC uh, knife's edge retention. Um, at one point I did, and I gotta say I was wrong about that. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, ergos on this I really like. Uh, everything uh, feels good to me. I, most of the use I have on this has been with gloves on. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that it gets super wide towards the uh, end of the handle. Doesn't bother me. Uh, that being said, I do prefer it in the choked up grip for hard cutting. Uh, it, I mean, if you're, first off, 
I'd rather have the, I feel like I get more power into a cut holding it like this uh, than I do way back here, especially in a hammer grip. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're going to be just doing some basic draw cuts, um, you know, maybe cutting rope or whatever it is, maybe opening a box, uh, this is probably going to be your grip, maybe food prep. Yeah, it's a pretty thick blade to be doing that with. Um, but, I mean, I've done it. I've cut up chicken before with it, uh, and it worked just fine. Uh, what else? Fit and finish seem to be greatly improved from the old striders uh, that didn't say M Strider, they just say Strider. Um, yeah, nice, nice, nice action. Not that I really give a fuck about that, but it is nice when I'm sitting on the couch and, uh, you know, it's just a fun knife to play with, which uh, honestly, I don't really play with this knife that much. Uh, the SOCOM has kind of stolen the show for a fun knife to watch TV with. Uh, what else? Clip. Eh, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not my favorite clip, but <laughs> I carried this knife for years, so I, it doesn't really bother me. Um, they're actually about the same, uh, in terms of how much hangs out of your pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't really care about pocket clips. Uh, I have to say the only time I've ever been like super, super impressed with the pocket clip is on the Umnumzon and the SOCOM with that secondary retention uh, bump, uh, especially on this one. It just, in, in a pair of jeans, it just sits in there. Um, and yeah, when I first got the knife, I'd, I'd leave it like this much hanging out of my pocket because I thought it was all the way in. And then I'd go to take it or, you know, just bump my hand against it and I could, you know, notice then uh, after hitting it that the knife was actually out of my pocket. Um, but yes, the, I mean the clip's fine. It's uh, it's not really a hot spot issue. It looks like it would be, um, but it isn't, at least in my hand. Um, so you can see the way I grip it, choke back, uh, the point just kind of uh, goes right in between my uh, middle finger and index finger and in a choked up grip um, This kind of muscle right here and this uh, little piece of meat right there uh, kind of create a uh, almost a cushion So not a problem in that grip either uh, lock up on this example Super early and uh, It hasn't changed much people said it would you know get later and later and later uh, hasn't been an issue yet uh, play zero play uh, in any direction even after prying um, this knife is really really tough super impressed uh, with the performance of this so far um, just wanted to keep you guys in the loop put out some content I hope you guys enjoyed I know I'm super tired so uh, maybe my sentences were kind of fucked up whatever uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, comment something and tell me to fuck myself or, um, uh, dislike it. Dislike it if you want. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.